Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another vid. Tiki here and hopefully I can earn yourself today. Here's hoping that your day is great and your week is better. It's been off lately. Hopefully things get better. Now, let's talk anime. In the last episode of Chainsaw Man, we saw the special division teams 1 through 4 get ambushed in Tokyo and on the way to Kyoto. The goal of the ambush was to secure Denshi's chainsaw heart. Aki and Himuno tried their best to fight Katana Man, but he and his handler were too strong. Himuno gave up her life to try to save everyone and to see her story end so soon was tragic, but with one final act, Himuno's devil pulled Denji's chain, kickstarting him back up. Katana Man was not too worried by Denji. Katana Man is on another level compared to how Denji is now, and he wasted no time in showing how large that gap is. With one dash, Katana Man slices through Denji without him or his body knowing what had just happened. Now that their objective is passed out, they can secure him and make their way to the next location to remove the heart. When this is all taking place back on the train, Makima regains consciousness while the assassins are still on board trying to wrap up what they think is a job well done. We don't get to see how Makima uses her contract aboard the train, so I would assume that she made each of the assassins say each other's names and killed them that way. Until, I gotta say this though, until that last guy remained and I'm unsure of how she had killed that last guy, this is where I assume that the manga would have more detail to this encounter. I have to say the way the Mappa team made Makima's setup was intense and awesome. Makima looked badass going around handling business from accepting resignations and letting the dude live to then asking for 30 death row inmates to be used as living sacrifices for her devil contract. These contracts give Makima a power that seems to be overpowered to say the least and kind of bullshit, though without Makima's OP power, I doubt Denji would have been able to make it out of that situation at all. Makima uses her sacrifices to say the names of the people she will be destroying and how she destroys them isn't all that clear. Makima compresses her hands together after the name is spoken. This could mean that she is crushing the gravity around the target or she could simply be able to manipulate the target's body with her hands allowing her to do with them as she pleases. I believe this shows just how scary Makima could be. Her power alone is terrifying. I get why the council wants to keep her power secret among very few people. If her team or anyone outside of Aki and Denji knew, then it could cause mass panic knowing that a devil with her power was running around the city unaccompanied. Once Makima does what she can do to help Denji, Kowembi arrives and lets us know that she escaped the killer grandma. How she escaped was thanks to the sacrifice of Arai and, in my opinion, an unworthy sacrifice. I know that there are a lot of fans of Kowembi and I'm not one of them. They should have fired her after the infinity devil but they allowed her to stay on. She showed no signs of being able to handle any type of pressure from devil hunting. Only after her partner's sacrifice was she able to flip the switch which could have helped a lot during the case in Hotel Marin and while dealing with the killer grandma. You do have to give her credit for saying and acknowledging that this job isn't for her but it's a bit too late. Luckily for Denji that Kwembi did flip that switch to help secure him from Katana Man and his handler. At this point Katana Man's crew has been decimated and they have no choice but to leave while they can. After all that collateral damage and assassinations the special divisions team has lost so many employees that the higher ups call for Makima to assume leadership over the newly absorbed team. Will the rest of the team stay? How long will it take Denji to recover? Did they remember to grab the other half of Denji? Perhaps the biggest question is, will Koen B stay on? We'll have to find out next time on the next episode of Chainsaw Man. If you made it to the end of this video, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much, best friend. It means a lot to me, truly. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like, a comment, and a sub. But most importantly, please be safe. Please drink some water. And know your love. Also, be safe these holidays. And we'll talk anime in the next one. Later.